What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Skef's Common Knowledge. I am Skef. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. I really appreciate it. If you didn't just see, I carried these two giant boxes, and they were quite heavy. So, just like in the thumbnail, I have a 50-book CGC unboxing. Well, hopefully 50 books. They're pre-screened, so we are going to find out how many 9-8s we got in the box. We're going to box two boxes and see how many 9-8s we got filled with just like all like modern keys and first parents and things like that and I am I am very excited. So if you didn't see my previous video of my entire something's killing the children unboxing, please go check out the video and it was a blast and I can't believe how many really great 9-8s I got in that box. But without further ado, enough of me rambling. We have a lot of books to get through so let's just go ahead and get into it and see what came back as 9-8 and what came back as a reject. I've forgotten what I put into these boxes but I know they're all kind of modern books or first appearances are very important. Second prints, things like that. I am excited to see how we did. And guys, like I always say, try to keep all the packing material. You never know when you're gonna need it later on. All right, let's go ahead and grab this reject box. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> all right, hands down, biggest reject box I think I've ever gotten so far in a pre-screen. May have made a couple mistakes. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, we'll find out how many re rejects are in there for that first pre-screen. Oh man, that felt like that felt like eight bucks. So first nine eight, off to a great start. Kanan, the last battle one, number one. Yes, more Star Wars spec that I am interested to see how it does long term. Oh man, Sweet Tooth number one made the cut. It'll be interesting to see if they do anything with this for that TV show coming up. All right, next up, we're gonna have a beautiful copy of Thor number one. So far, I am. So excited with the three books that we pulled so far. Can't go wrong. Three really good spec books, I guess you can call them. Thor number one for the Jane Foster, which we know is kind of confirmed. Sweet Tooth for the show if it ever happens. And then that Kana number one. Can't go wrong with that with the uh, Sabine, Ezra, Hera, all that good stuff. Next up we made, ooh, I, if, you, if you remember from our old video, I have a second print of this one. Um, but I now have the first print of number one for the Spider-Man number two series. All right, next up is a very another interesting book that I, I picked up a few copies of, just the Agents of Atlas number one and nine eight. There might be something to be done with this for a series coming up, but it's just good to have a couple nine eights hanging out. Next book up we have, ooh, all right, uh, Agents of Atlas number two, War of the Realms. I think I submitted like four of those Agents of Atlas numbers two, War of the Realms. Next up, another copy of that Agents of Atlas, War of the Realms number two. All right, like I said, I've been I, I picked up a couple copies of these back when they were like cover price a long time ago and just never knew i thought the series was pretty good and you never know it might have potential so let's see how it turns out right oh i'm excited about this one this one made the cut strange academy number one picked this one up off the rack because it was my favorite cover um i'm a sucker for anything wrap around graded okay nice strange academy number one that scotty young cover made the cut oh beautiful i'm so excited spider gwen 24 spite um Gwen Stacy becomes Gwenna. Oh, sweet! Both copies made the cut. Uh, one of these, one of these, I bought off of Facebook, like live auction for I think maybe like twenty dollars, and I just knew it looked great. So this is sometimes they just get lucky. So I got two of those. I'm very excited about that. With most of my submissions, it is not a complete CGC unboxing without a Spider-Man key or. A Canto number one, 9.8. Not the cover A, but still counts, convention exclusive. Guys, let me know down in the comments below if you have any of these books or if you're still waiting for a bunch of books from CGC or if you happen to check out that giveaway video and how much fun was that video. Props to my man, Comic Grand Andy, for helping me out with that video. It would not have been the same without him. Next up, another fun book. Bam, Canto number one, convention exclusive. 298 I'm so excited because I bought these at the convention. Oh boy, oh boy, I am getting spoiled this submission. The Canto number one, third printing in a 98. That is another one. Add to the pile. What the last 98 is going to be, make sure it's facing the right way. And it is a <laughs> Yes! Com Speaking of Comic Man Andy, it's like he he knew. <sighs> yes. This is my second copy of Saga number one, first printing in a 98. And I picked this one up um like maybe about a year ago for a pretty good price uh can't complain about this at all this is a great one to add i don't have 12 of them like some people but you know have a second one now so who knows maybe trade bait but that's exciting though but i only hit 16 of the 25 98 so let's find out 
which ones I missed on. And I knew that reject box felt a little heavier than normal. So it looks like I have nine rejects in here. So let's quickly go through them and see if I can find some defects on why they got rejected. And see if there's any potential for maybe a press and then a resubmit maybe. Or maybe if I think they missed something, I'll just resubmit it anyway. And nine of them, the guy at CGC is like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's terrible at comics. Probably. <laughs> so I went ahead and just, um, I looked up the batch, uh, this batch on CGC. And um, this particular Thor book that did not make the cut, they left greater notes on. They left greater notes on this copy of Thor. It just said color breaking bends on the front. And like I see them and like that's hilarious. Thank you. I appreciate that. Greatest notes on a reject. First time I've ever heard or seen that. Let me know if you've ever seen this before. Let me know if you've ever seen greatest notes on a reject book. It happened. I will have proof. I will show you. This blew my mind. All right, next reject reject up is just Agents of Atlas. It's something I just easily missed. Guys, double check your books. I think I was maybe in too much of a rush to uh, submit these and send them all out. Because if you look, kind of obvious why well, I didn't get that 9-8. So look at your books, people. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Let me make these mistakes so you don't have to make them. Right, no, next reject was another copy of that Agents of Atlas number two. And this one's not as bad, but I thought it would be interesting, right? Like how much printer rub will they let you get away with? And not that much. The next reject was Strange Academy number one, cover A. I was kind of hoping to see how this one made it. It, it. I might need a little bit of a press, but the back I'll show you is very interesting. This is one where like there is a few little bit of the the rubbing, not a significant. So I wasn't sure if this would qualify as too much, but this one may have. I couldn't really find anything else wrong with it. It might be one where I'll press and resubmit. You never know. All right, next two books up are going to be both of the Strange Academy, but the red label, red title in one. Uh, both Walmart exclusives, both of them, unfortunately, I didn't notice, but I should have. They both have little creases on the back corner here, obviously from being Walmart and just like leaving up on the stand, caused some little breaks there. Same thing with second issue, you can see, that's what I'm talking about here, those little breaks there. So like easy pressable books that I will probably get pressed and then resubmit because you never go wrong with having a couple Strange Academy 9.8s. All right, next up are going to be two copies of Strange Academy number two. Um, easy something that I may have missed or maybe happened in shipping. If you can take a look at the top corner there, you can see where it's kind of crunched, but definitely be able to get that out with a press and then maybe resubmit that one. I can copy Strange Academy. Really couldn't find anything too wrong with this one. On the front cover here, there's just a little bit of color rub, but I really couldn't find anything else wrong with the book. So this would be definitely one where I would definitely take another shot at and see how it turns out. Last book, last reject of this, this pre-screen, just a spider one number zero, nothing crazy, but I think they may have knocked it. It's got quite a few scratches on the front cover. That's kind of hard to tell. Um, a few scratches there, and then just a little bit of color rubbing on the back. So it's one of the ones like, all right, I can maybe see from the scratches that it's not going to qualify. So like even with the press, probably not worth it to resubmit that one. But all in all, for those rejects, six of them definitely have potential. Could have some more life ahead of them. Three of them, absolutely never going to make it. Just me messing up. Time for box number two. It can only get better from here, right? So we had 16 out of 25. Please, please let us get a little bit more than 6925 because that would just make me so happy. So on to box number two. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open and let's see what we got. All right, let's see if we can do a little better than that first round. First round, we went just 16 for 25, which isn't bad, but not. it is it is the lowest amount I've gotten so far out of all the submissions for pre-screen. Right, let's go ahead and grab this reject box. And the great news is look at the size of that reject box. So this is... Ooh, three books, three books. Okay, much smaller. All right, let's start ripping through these nine eight, shall we? Let's see what we got for some more keys. First book up, just a low copy of Spawn 239. Picked up on a pretty good deal and I found it in a back issue, Ben. And just a low print run and it looked like it was in great shape. Oh man, excited about this one. Picked this one up from that Clayton Crane signing. I didn't have him sign, sign it just because I, I just really wanted the cover. Um, just kind of like this really cool reprint of that spider-man number one but yeah came back in a 9-8 next book up going to be oh sweet the venom 27 uh crane.com exclusive cover made that 9-8 cut all right next one up oh sweet all right this was just a random find this is venom 25 like the walmart one i don't think it's really worth anything i just thought this stegman cover was amazing when they made the cut 
Oh, sweet. All right. Um, I've been a big fan of the Starling character, and I've picked up uh, a few copies now with his Miles Morales Spider-Man number six. Guys, this this box seems so much better. I mean, no Saga or Sweet Tooth or Cannon, but like so far, a lot more nine eights. Oh, sweet! Yes, found this at a half price books in just like just digging, digging. Two dollars, I think I paid for this cover. This makes me happy. I can't wait to see what the grand total is. I think it is just two or three rejects. Oh yes! All right, another book that I picked up before it kind of exploded. Was I, I think I, in this I think that in this batch there's like three of these or four of these, far sector number one second printings. Okay, the rumor is there's supposed to be some uh, Green Lantern HBO Max show, so it's one of those things you're like, all right, if she turns out to be in it, oh man, all right, next up, oh we got another one, Whew. all right, that's awesome, awesome, it's great when you pay cover price for this stuff, just get lucky. Next up, next up. Guys, I hope you're really enjoying this. Um, this is the biggest CGC unboxing I've done. Most books, at least on the channel. We got... Oh, very nice. Very nice. This is the Thanos 13 second printing. Um, first appearance, Gods and Ghost Rider. Just, you see him just kind of hanging out on the cover. Um, this was another half price books find. Not like $2 book, but I think I paid like 20 for this one. Very excited for this one to come back in a 9.8. Next up, oh, Action Comics 894. Death makes a cover appearance on here. Next up, oh, there. So something happened with this series, right? Something is killing this. No, no, that's not it. It got, I think, it got an option. Well, got a second printing. Not bad. That's what we got. Oh, very nice. This is awesome. All right, so the Gotham City Sirens. Uh, picked up in, the, in a collection. This is just a really cool cover. It was like that really cool um, like connecting cover. I think of like seven, eight, or nine. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Uh, issue number six or seven, eight. I don't know. One of the, It was like three of them. But yeah, it got Poison Ivy on the cover for that one. Nine, eight. Oh, man. All right. If two of them make it and one of them don't, I will be, I'll be saddened. I will be saddened. But not that sad. A little saddened. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Two for two. Or two out of three, I guess. There's the one with Harley on the cover. Next is going to be... Oh, that's... That's not Catwoman. But hey, first um, Mortal Hulk. Can't go wrong in there. All right, the next book up. Oh, look at that beauty. Can't even really get on the camera. So I just submitted a couple of these just for the funsies, just to have some. Uh, but this is local comic shop day. Something to kill children number one. Uh, these books have... Uh, what's the word for it? on fire right now it's probably the word and it's not even optioned like department of truth is optioned so like books are skyrocketing this is just a great series like imagine if this gets optioned just think about it yep yep i would be excited so far this box has been very exciting i always forget like what do i have out there i don't even know there we go and uh, i don't i think i submitted just two or three of these just to have them i really liked them Next, guys, I really appreciate your patience with all this. This is not as... Hey, there we go. King Thor, number one, second printing. Um, this book got really hot, too, all of a sudden. I mean, Gore is going to be in a movie, so, like, this is... He doesn't have that many, like, solo cover appearances. So, like, this is one of the few where he's just like, I am Gore, and I look amazing. So, yeah, so excited to have that one. And next up, we're going to have... Oh, yes! Oh, man. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This I picked up 10 years ago. No, 12 long time ago off the like back issue bin, like when I first started getting comics. So for this to make the cut, and I still had it, and it was in great shape, and now Star Wars is like stupid prices. So excited this made the cut. All right, we're getting down to the wire now. Hey, there we go. There's another Far Sector. Second print making the cut. All righty. Getting down to the last two. Let's see if we can finish strong. <laughs> no complaints with another 9-8 Far Sector number two. Or number one second printing. We've made it. We have made it to the end of this 50 book unboxing. Not all CGC 9-8s, but 50 books we've unboxed so far. Oh, there she is. Complete the cover. I am excited. Now they're going to look all good, all three of them together. That's awesome. That's a good way to finish it. Finishing off that set, I was a little worried. We got 22 out of 25. That is much, much better. And I'm, oh man, much better. All right, that means we got three books 
Inside the Reject Box. Let's find out what they are. Of course, they're probably the three hottest books of that all 25. First of the Rejects, a copy of the King Thor. Second printing didn't make the cut. This is an easy one. I wish I can go back and like look and see how I looked. Because I don't know how I missed it, but it's really bad. Um, I'm not sure if maybe it got crushed along the way, but like it's one of those things where like you don't think you'd miss, but you maybe miss. Um, but that's definitely did not make the cut. But I will find out if I can get that press and try it one more time. Oh, another killer that didn't make that cut. So unfortunately, oh god, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> Vader number three uh, didn't make the cut, and I do believe it's because of the back. If you look closely, you can see kind of like the color rubbing. Um, there is a lot of it, but I didn't know how much. For out they allow, now I kind of have an idea like, all right, that's too much. So now I know. But good to hold on to regardless. And the last one that didn't make the cut, and I found it because I was reading the series and I really, I just picked it up because I love the artist, is a copy of this really apparently hot, hard to find book, Bitter Root Number 4 by David Mack. This is going to be an easy one. Just some, I'm going to try to get on camera. Just there it is right there. Yep, that's it. That's all that's wrong with it. Um, so it's going to be really easy. Uh, get press and then resubmit this one. Holy cow, we made it. Thank you guys so much for sticking us through to the very end. I really can't thank you enough. I had an absolute blast unboxing all these. Got some really good stuff, some very surprising things, and some a little disappointing things. Not many. You know I don't get disappointed often. But just a couple things I'm just like, Arr, I need to know better and learn. Hope you can learn from my mistakes. to look. Now you know what to look for. You're going to submit some books. They don't like those defects. Otherwise, can't complain. Only had three in this batch, nine in the other. So, so grand total, only 12 rejects out of the 50. So I really, so 38 total nine eights, can't complain. And like, the, like I said at the end of the day, guys, I am still learning just like you. So every time I submit more books, I get to learn more about conditions and what they want to see for a 9.8. Guys, that's the entire video. Please, once again, comment down below. I love the conversation we have down there about what you're submitting, how it's going, are you waiting forever, um, and let me know some hot books you have picked up recently. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. Skeff, out.